Hi, my name is Tom Johnson Medlin. I'm Chief Information Officer for Lighthouse Hospice. I wanted to share a poem with you today. One second. It only takes one second for the soul to leave the body. A flicker on the screen, a tightening of the face, and it drains right out. It goes from the head, through the heart, out the feet, onto the highly polished, gray-flecked, white linoleum floor. The pathways of ecstasy become vacant. The heart becomes hollow, and the mind numbed. Everything becomes one pointedly empty. Gone is hope, gone is joy, gone is elation. It only takes one second for the soul to leave the body. This poem is about the transition that takes place in the life of a person who finds out something tragic. Whether the news is of a divorce, uh, a change, a major change in a life event for people, or in the case of hospice patients, that they are going to die, that soon the disease that they've carried with them and have worked with and struggled to bring healing to through the use of medical science has uh, finally taken its effect and that they are going to leave Earth. What happens is a sense of hopelessness, a sense of loss and darkness, and a sense of disconnection from those people around them. What I want to do today is thank you for the work that you do as hospice volunteers because every piece of the work that you do turns towards the patient and family in a, in a fashion so as to reinstill the life of a patient and family with hope, to reinfuse the life of a patient and family with love and light, and to redistribute throughout the life of a patient and family the idea that community is so essential. When we find out this critical news in our life, wherever we are, whoever we are, we're really thrown off. We're knocked off of the path, so to speak, and we become, for a small period of time, um, and again, this is different for each person, but we become a different person. We fail to remember the person we were in the past, or we cannot muster the resources or the strength from within to live life like we used to because of this horrible news. Your presence in the life of a patient and family, uh, whether it is at bedside or whether it is in the office helping to develop the support that goes behind the scenes for a patient and family, your presence in their life reintegrates them back into their own life. Your place in their home and in their lives helps to stabilize their life. It helps to remind them that there are some things that are still going on that connect them to who they used to be. Having someone come into the home and spend time with a patient or family can normalize some of the grief that they begin to experience when they first find out about a terminal diagnosis. As time wears on, your continued presence in the life of a patient or family becomes a signal to the rest of their community. It becomes a signal to those people that they've been connected to their whole life that this person, although they are dying, is not a different person than they have known. That this person still needs their love, their attachment, their hope. Your presence reminds people that are thrown off because of this news. They're thrown off from living the life the way they used to. It reminds them that the person who is dying needs them to get back into their life. So thank you for all that you do in the office at Lighthouse Hospice, for all that you do out on the road for Lighthouse Hospice, and all that you do wherever you are for each and every patient and family that we provide care for. Without your presence in hospice, we could not do the things that we do. Your integral placement on our hospice team is so valuable that we recognize your love, your sense of hope, your sense of light and your sense of community that comes into the life of a patient and family is invaluable. It brings to people a chance to reinstall their soulfulness, their hope, their light, their community back into their life. Something that they thought their disease had taken them from them forever. Thank you very much and enjoy your day together. Your presence is a gift to all of us.